Hey guys, I had a couple of people message me about replacing the pivot and slide in an early Falcon window winder. Uh, in this video, I'll show you how to do it. All right, so with the handle pointing straight down, uh, away from you, have a look in this back section here. What we'll do is we'll spin it around and then there's an actual slot taken out of the back of this here. And then directly at the 12 o'clock point from the end of this handle, you've got a hole. Uh, in that hole, which you can just see, there it is there, uh, there's actually a locking pin which has got a spring on it. And what we want to do is we want to turn our barrel to the one o'clock position. Uh, turning it to the one o'clock position will line up the pin which is inside of there, which will then be able to stick a punch down into. And when we do that, we'll compress the spring and then we'll twist the key back to the 11 o'clock position. What that'll then do is then push the spring back into the housing, which is now pressed hard against the back side of here. And we should be able to just pull out the back of the barrel like so. Uh, I'd suggest soaking your handle for a couple of hours just beforehand, because as you can see, all the grease and muck and stuff for 50 years in there, they don't come out that easily. I've had this out before, so that's why it makes it that easy. Now, just with our barrel set up, what we want to make sure is our orientation doesn't change. If we look down in there, you'll see a little, there you go, that's a good shot of it. You'll see the actual reflection. That square keyway clearly sits in there like so. And then that's what allows that to turn. So we'll pull the back of the handle off. To get these out, it's pretty simple. This is really worn and old, so there's gonna be a lot of play. When you receive your new ones, it's a much tighter fit. How this comes out first is we push the actual pivot out. There's an original pivot. That one actually hasn't broken. And then you can slide out, you, you slide through the top and it'll just pop out like so. Uh, to put it all back together, it's exactly the same. Now there is this little notch taken out of it. If you're lucky enough to still have the piece, there's an original piece of pop metal which sits in there that always sits to the right hand side looking down on it. So that'll go back in. Now with an old handle, you will have a lot of slop in it. Uh, a new one won't have that much slop. Press that down so the slide almost touches the bottom through there. We'll then flip it over. Looking down on the pivot, you want the pivot to be to the right hand side. We'll drop that in there and then it's a little bit of a fastidious thing to get it to actually seat in there properly. Alright, if you look in there, you see I've got it recessed back in there. Now what can happen with these is the barrels can sometimes uh, have that little spring and retainer break. That's what's happened with this. All I've done is got a piece of, uh, it's an old drill bit, which then fits in that slot perfectly to that same depth. Uh, it means that once you put it back in, it is really difficult to get the barrel back out, but you can also buy a new barrel. Uh, barrels, I think they're about $100, or you can get them from America. Uh, but if you still want to use your original barrel to keep your key set, well, that's a little bit of a, a fix that I've sort of drummed up. All right, so the key is back in the 11 o'clock position. We'll then put it into our barrel and we'll press down and turning it back towards almost 12 o'clock. Uh, that'll then reinstate the key position and leaving that pivot in there, we'll then also reset the spring on, on the little uh, the locator. So it's back in there. All I do to make sure the barrel stays in there, I turn it back to the one o'clock position, push down on that, and then we're done. 
That barrel ain't coming out anyway. You done?